The Supreme Court struck down a push by North Carolina Republican state legislators to draw their own congressional map without any interference from local courts. Lauren Blanchard explains the case from Washington. The question at the heart of Moore v. Harper, can North Carolina Republican state legislators draw up their congressional districts and set their election rules without the state's courts stepping in? Tuesday, the Supreme Court said no in a six to three decision. And what today's decision basically does is clarify that state courts, specifically state Supreme Courts, still have a role to play in overseeing election laws. In 2021, North Carolina's GOP state lawmakers argued the independent state legislator theory allowed them to redraw the congressional map without any judicial oversight. It involves not just redistricting laws, but really almost any law that somehow impacts federal elections. That doctrine was rejected by the state Supreme Court in 2022, who said the original GOP map was quote, a partisan outlier intentionally and carefully designed to maximize Republican advantage. Those judges then redrew the voting boundaries. Unhappy with the ruling, conservatives asked the U.S. Supreme Court justices to weigh in. Chief Justice John Roberts wrote the majority decision against the GOP lawmakers saying, the elections clause does not insulate state legislatures from the ordinary exercise of state judicial review. The ACLU celebrating the decision, quote, in our system, there is no room for a rogue legislature that can violate its own founding charter without any checks from other branches of government. This is likely not the last we'll hear of the issue of redrawing district maps before the 2024 elections. Another similar redistricting case in Ohio is pending. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News.